Hey guys, welcome to Daily Driven. I've got a confession to make. Um, well, I guess I can't hide it now. I love motorcycles. What you're looking at here is a 1981 Yamaha Virago XV750. Only four previous paint jobs, an unknown amount of owners, but it's all mine now. She's only done 8,000 miles, give or take. Um, seat's a little worse for wear, but who rides back there anyway? Yeah, she got a little rust. I'm about to tell you why. There's no better starter bike than a $500 beater bike. Before we get too far into this video, guys, I really want to explain a little bit. Um, so for 2024, I really want to take this channel in a whole different direction, if I'm being honest. Um, you know, cars are great. Cars are a lot of fun. Um, you know, they're, they're really, really cool. But I found myself recently just not really enjoying making the videos about the cars that I'm reviewing. Uh, it seems to me like I'm sometimes just reviewing a car that I bought just because, and I don't really buy that cheap of cars anymore. So, I mean, I still drive beaters, of course, but they're not really interesting. So. You know, I mean, we'll still have car content for sure, uh, but I do want to shift more towards um, motorcycles and then the repairs and modifications that go along with those. Um, now, I'm playing this off like it's my first bike, and technically it was my first bike, but I've actually bought three more since. So I'm more than happy to show you guys all that in a future video, definitely, and I'm really excited. Um, so yeah, I know it's been a bit of a hiatus, but I'm really going to try to get myself on track this year and make a lot of good videos for you guys. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but the audio and visual setup has changed a lot. iPhone 12 on deck with some cheap Timu microphones. So yeah, seems like it's working. But I would like to know from you guys, uh, if you, you know, want to see motorcycle content, uh, I love, I know I'll love making it just because that's where my heart is right now. Um, you know, every time I hop on that bike, I'm just like a smile on my face. There's no getting around it. And I'd love to share that with you guys. Um, and I, I really want to take you guys along for the ride. So I think that's what we should do. If that's, you know, cool with everybody, I hope that you guys will stick around and enjoy it. Uh, and I hope we get a lot of new friends too. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can go through this journey together. I also want to know your feelings on later this year. I do plan to build out my Ford Expedition, which you've seen in a previous video that I bought for $1,800. Uh, I'm going to build that into a stealth camping rig. Um, and I'm going to start traveling a little bit. Uh, I'm very, very fortunate to say that my job right now is fully remote. So that is just a blessing in and of itself, a tremendous one. And that's going to allow me to travel and do what I want to do. So really, really happy about that, if I'm being honest. Um, so yeah, lots more motorcycle content to come. Um, if you guys like car camping or enjoy watching woodworking or building stuff, uh, I'm going to try to do a lot of that. And, and, and I'm being honest, and if I'm being honest with you guys, um, I think the uploads will come a lot more frequently now just because I don't feel pressured to make the content, if that makes sense. Um, it's not me, oh, I got to put out a video this win, or, or I got to borrow somebody's car to do this or that. I, it just wasn't, it was really fun in the beginning, but I think as I've aged, I've shifted a little bit in my thinking, and it's really just not where I'm at anymore, you know, mentally. I, I just, it's a fun little thing to do, like to go drive other people's cars and stuff, but it's really not worth the headache, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, I'm sure I could have taken it somewhere if I wanted to, but I think I'll be much happier doing this, and I hope you guys will stick around to see it. Um, but yeah, you know what? Boring stuff over. Let's go for a ride, huh? Man, I really hope you guys can see how goofy this looks. So the helmet is about two sizes too small. Don't worry. It's not my main one. Um, but yeah, this is, this is kind of the setup for now. Uh, TV microphone is stuffed right here. Phone mount on my chin. It's glue. Got it on Amazon. Oh, it sounds good. Let's go for a ride. All right, look at that. I swanned a pair of hands. Isn't that cool? That dog's barking at me. Oh, there's a bitchy lady over there. I'm sure she's going to try to call the cops on me eventually. Ugh. Hope you see this bitchy lady. I don't like you. All right. <laughs> Got it. Cool. All right, let's go. Hopefully she'll start for us. $500 bike problems. Okay. 
go. He's cold natured, but once you warm up, she'll be fine. Okay. So as soon as I started the bike, I think my luck ran out for the Timu microphones. They just couldn't process, I guess, the motorcycle's audio and my voice. So, um, yeah, like I said, this is not even usable as far as audio. So I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to a, you know where I pulled over a second time, and the bike's already warm and everything. So uh, just to save you guys the headache of watching you know, some footage with no audio. All right, up. Oh, hopefully she'll start better now she's warm. Not even a little bit. Let's do that again because that was depressing. All right, hopefully she'll start better now she's warm. That uh, box of rocks is what they call it. That starter noise is pretty common on the Paragos. So, but yeah, you know what? Enough of me talking. Let's go for a ride. So I just thought I'd come in and interject here real quick. Um, so yeah, just a couple of reasons why I think this bike is an awesome beginner bike. And that may not be, you know, what a lot of people would think, being that it's a 750cc twin, you know, with 55 horsepower. I mean, it's a lot of bike. I guess it could be. Um, you also got to factor in that this thing is old, like really old. And those that displacement really isn't the same as like a modern 750 would be, if that makes sense. Um, they just didn't get that much power out of bikes back then. So, you know, a Ninja 400, I would say, uh, power wise would probably be, and like twitchiness would probably be about the same, maybe even more so than Ninja 400. Um, but so far, you know, this is my first bike. I actually bought it October, 2022. Um, and I've just loved it ever since I put a set of tires on it. Um, other than that, you know, just oil changes. I, like I said, I had to put a starter on it. Um, but yeah, not too much of anything really I'd really like to go over it more in depth uh, this video is more just a quick proof of concept honestly just to make sure that um, my setup was okay for somewhat moto vlogging because the microphone wasn't but anyway um, yeah I'm loving this bike and I definitely think that you guys should consider just an old cheapy you know bike that you find on Facebook marketplace as a beginner um, and don't really limit yourself to such small displacement like a rebel 250 or something like that I really have uh, the idea to make a full video on displacement and how it can be kind of convoluted but uh yeah let's do a zero to sixty So yeah guys, hope you guys enjoyed that, that was a lot of fun. Um, so this is the bike. Uh, I want to thank you so much for watching, and I hope you like, subscribe if you did, um, if you enjoyed it. That lady is still over there staring at me like hard, so I'm just pretending like she does, I don't see her. So that's smart, right? But yeah, so I'm just going to keep moving my hands like this. Uh, but if you guys really, really like the video, please consider subscribing because I'm putting myself in these endangering situations for you all, of course. So anyway guys, take care, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right.